the most expensive airplane in aviation history, a fantastic flying saucer capable of overcoming any air defense system and delivering a deadly blow to the heart of the enemy. Meet today's hero, the B-2 Spirit Strategic Stealth Bomber, the hot breath of the Cold War, a ghost plane born from the inflamed imagination of SDI hoaxers, a superhero left without a super enemy. So many mysterious myths, legends, and outright misconceptions swirl around the B-2 that it's impossible to determine what this plane is really about. A formidable winged vessel or a useless wonderwaft? But all that is secret will eventually become known. In 15 years of B-2 stealth bomber operations, enough information has leaked into the open press to draw certain conclusions about these aircraft. It is correctly noted that the stealth bomber's appearance seems borrowed from science fiction. Seen from the ground, the spirit resembles a rushing black sheet. A flying manta ray. A fantastic interstellar craft. In profile, it is a true flying saucer, flat, sleek, and seemingly flattened by a sledgehammer blow, without the familiar fuselage and tail. Impressive. The strange shape of the aircraft is simply the flying wing aerodynamic layout, known long before the American stealth planes appeared. This layout has its own characteristics, advantages, and disadvantages. The lack of a tail does not at all prevent the flying wing from making turns and pirouettes. Contrary to a common misconception, aircraft do not change course primarily with the help of a vertical rudder. It only plays an auxiliary role. The main task of the fin is to stabilize the flight. The turn is always performed by banking the aircraft. In this case, the lift on the lower wing decreases and on the upper wing it increases, resulting in the upper wing swinging the aircraft in the desired direction. Wing loading, one of the most important parameters in aviation, the lower the kg per square meter of surface, the easier it is for the wing to turn the aircraft. Accordingly, maneuverability is improved. The flying wing is great at doing pirouettes, but has no stability on course. The lack of a vertical fin makes itself felt. Controlling the B, too, would be impossible without the use of automation and an electronic flight control system. Numerous sensors constantly monitor the aircraft's position in space and output corrective impulses to the wing mechanization elements every second. It is fair to say that few modern aircraft can be manually piloted. The same statically unstable Su-27 is also impossible to fly without the help of automation. A similar aircraft existed 70 years ago. The German fighter bomber project, Horton, 229. The Horton brothers chose this layout based on their personal preferences. A smooth, streamlined wing aircraft completely matched their ideas about a high-speed jet bomber. It unexpectedly turned out that the 229 had another, no less important quality, reduced visibility to enemy radars. It is possible that the specialists of the Northrop Corporation were inspired by the work of their German colleagues. The Pentagon spent $2 billion on an aircraft that cannot employ cruise missiles. Incredible. How could this have happened? American capitalists are pragmatic people. They will scrutinize every cent before investing it in a project. The strategic stealth bomber was under special scrutiny by Congress and at first seemed like a fully justified decision with fantastic prospects. A mission that would require 50 to 60 conventional aircraft, attack, escort fighters, can be accomplished by just two stealth machines. The savings are obvious. The catch is that American congressmen and the military fell victim to deception, whether accidental or deliberate, is irrelevant. Lectures on the creation of an inconspicuous aircraft were repeatedly given to people not too versed in radio engineering and the diffraction of electromagnetic waves. The luminaries of American science vied with each other in promising the practical implementation of such a project, a practically undetectable and invulnerable aircraft that does not require an escort or support assets. Flat shapes, lack of a vertical fin, widespread use of radar-absorbing materials, zigzag joints of parts. The huge plane appears on radar as a tiny bird. However, it's not that simple. The bomber's low visibility does not guarantee the safety of the B-2. According to eyewitnesses, the plane has been observed in thermal imagers at international air shows, and from some angles the spirit glows noticeably in the IR range. Finally, the pilot of an enemy fighter can visually detect the spirit. In this case, 
the helpless bomber is doomed. The risk of being detected, and therefore destroyed, remains high. No one in their right mind would send AB-2 Spirit alone into the engagement zone of S-300 SAMs or enemy fighters. Even where the resistance of the Air Force and air defense of the adversary is minimized, Afghanistan, Libya, regular F-16s do just fine. The superhero is too bored in such conditions. The U.S. Air Force received a conventional bomb carrier at an inflated price. No doubt, this is a serious aircraft capable of carrying 8,227 kilograms bombs on board and making a combat sortie from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri to Afghanistan and back, with a duration of 50 hours, including air-to-air -air refueling. If one disregards its debatable, low visibility, and incredible cost, the B-2 is not inferior to its legendary predecessor, the B-52 Stratofortress. The operating costs of the stealth bomber are much higher than any of the listed machines. The B-2 can only be based in a special hangar with an artificially maintained microclimate. Otherwise, ultraviolet radiation will damage the aircraft's radar-absorbing coating. There are not many airfields on Earth where long-term B-2 deployment is possible. According to official data, the appropriate infrastructure exists only at the Whiteman, U.S. Territory, Anderson, Guam, Pacific Ocean, and Diego Garcia, Chagas Archipelago, 500 miles south of the Seychelles, Indian Ocean, air bases. The most intriguing point. The maximum combat load of the stealth bomber reaches 23 tons. After modernization, an increase to 27 tons is expected. However, bombs cannot be poured into the bomb bay like concrete. In practice, the real combat load of the B-2 is within 18 tons. Regarding the comparison of the B-2 with its contemporary, the supersonic strategic bomber B-1B Lancer, there is no doubt. The Lancer looks more preferable. The B-1B has almost twice the combat load, 30-plus tons in internal bomb bays, not counting external weapon stations, can reach supersonic speeds, and has the ability to carry additional targeting equipment, sniper XR pods for high-altitude bombing. The Lancer design also widely employs stealth technologies, while the B 1B costs five times less. The history of the B 2 bomber is a story of how not to make aircraft. Despite some propaganda role, testing of new technologies, and limited participation in military conflicts, these spirits have done more damage to the U.S. budget than the Pentagon's opponents. The aircraft turned out to be exceptionally expensive. The cost of each of the 21 built exceeded $2 billion in 1997 prices and ineffective in the conditions of modern local conflicts.